Hey everybody, so I'm with our next little Olympian series. I'm here with one of my favourite little swimmers. I'm allowed to say that because I see her every week. <laughs> Jenna Strauss. Strauss? Yeah, Strauss. close enough. Close enough. They say your name different at every, every trial. They like, do. Um, I'd have to say Jenna's one of my favourite little swimmers, not only because I get to see her every week, but I've seen the work that she's put in over the pool. Heading off to the first Olympics in Tokyo, so excited. Yes, I am Had very swim excited. A, oh, sorry. <laughs> Had to swim a PB in the 200 breaststroke to make the team. Did that. Um, so we're just going to learn just a little bit about Jenna. Um, so thank you, Jenna. So That's a couple okay. minutes of your time. What got you started in swimming? How did you get to swim? And a breaststroke as well. Yes, well, I have a bit more of a unique story than everyone else. Um, I was a terrible, terrible sleeper as a child, and my dad actually played AFL and ended up with a hip replacement, so he used to get up early to go swimming, and because I never slept, mum didn't want me in the house anymore, so dad would take me along to start swimming, and it was just a bonding thing, and then I got good at it, and joined the squad, and then breaststroke choked with me, as it does. Couldn't do freestyle, used to do freestyle with breaststroke kick, and then ended up with and here we are. It sounds, like a, it sounds like a little Eva, right? Yeah. <laughs> do freestyle kick Eva, help him get into breaststroke. That was me. <laughs> um, and you're not from the Gold Coast originally, right? Where are you from and how did you get to the Gold Coast? Um, I'm from country Victoria in Bendigo, so that's two hours out of Melbourne, and then I grew up there, started swimming there, and then for my final few years of school, I moved to Melbourne for a scholarship, and then when I finished school, I just wanted a fresh change, always wanted to live in the sun, so moved up here, and it was the best thing I did for swimming. <laughs> yeah, and so you've been with Richie Scarce now at Bond come Miami yes. for a five long years. Five years. Five years now. That's been a while. You almost a true I know. I claim it as home. Well. <laughs> um, okay, so tell me a couple other quick questions and keep in story. Um, if you could have two people at a dinner table with you to keep you interested and entertained, it can be family, it can be interesting people, it can be the best physio. Yeah. <laughs> um, who would you have oh, yeah. dinner with you? That is a really hard question. Um, two people. I'd probably say my family, they live away from me, so but dinner with them is probably pretty special because I don't see them all the time. Um, yeah. I don't know. I say that now, but maybe after two weeks with them, I'd pick someone else. <laughs> Fair enough. Good start. Yeah. Um, are you a cat or a dog person? I'm a dog person. And do you have a dog up here? I don't, just because I have to travel a lot, but would love a dog one day. And last question, if you could remove one food from mm -hmm. the world, what would you get rid of and why? I'd get rid of milk. I yeah. really don't like milk. Never liked milk. Even as a kid, don't so like milk. What do you drink instead of milk? Um, Water. <laughs> so you don't As a kid, I used to have cereal with orange juice in it right. because I really didn't like milk that much. So I don't do that now. But <laughs> so there you go. Any of your little budding breaststrokers out there? Yeah. Perhaps if you want to follow this Olympic pathway, you might need to have orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't advise that. It's not good for your teeth. <laughs> Thanks so much for your time, Jenna. That's alright. Like thank really excited yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, Tokyo and Tokyo. Fantastic. I will. Thank you.